So massive credit and reflection to you and your family. What an effort, activism, what you saw earlier today in Guildhall, that's activism. Yeah. Mm. This is activism. This is what you do. This is the stage before taking your country back. Mm -hmm. So massive, massive thank you to you. And as we do the UKIP pub tours, uh, again, for the, for the audience online and, and the cameras, etc. Huge, huge thank you to everyone who's helping to organize this and make this work. And a huge thank you to you guys as well for being here. Thank you so much. This only works if you get up off your backside and go and do something. Everything in this life, whether it's a FTSE 250 corporation, a little startup, whatever, everything comes, uh, starts with a conversation. That said, there's a few notices at the end and then we'll do a bit of a Q&A. Some of those Q&As have lasted a couple of hours, historically. No rush, I'm here, I'll get a beer. And if everyone's happy with that, then, then we'll, we'll leave it after that. But there are some important announcements like our manifesto, for example. We are a political party after all. So what goes into our policies is kind of important. And I'm asking people, when you listen to hear me speak, as I'm about to start, judge UKIP on its missions, which of there, there are six, and its manifesto, as well as me, okay? I've noticed a few plastic patriots are upset at our passion for saving Britain after my speech in front of 50,000 people last Saturday. They think UKIP should be more liberal, more centrist, more establishment. To them, I say this, the politics of cowardice has led us into this mess and political correctness will not save us. They've been playing the long game since the 90s. And in my honest opinion, that game was lost about 10 years ago. We need action now, not in 20 years when Britain is unrecognizable. <clears throat> if they want to bow down to Islamism and to Marxism, go right ahead. UKIP will not live on its knees. Friends, the battle we face is none other than between good and evil. There is a global communist inspired campaign to paint patriotic people as far right. They denigrate you. They demoralize you. They dehumanize you. And they do this at every opportunity. And what do the Islamists, the Marxists, and the leftists do. Do they stand up for us and for Britain? No. no, they join them in spitting at us. Why? Because they despise us. Communists, socialists, leftists. These people are the cancer on our planet. And I say we rid our nation of this toxic evil. To these traitors, I say this. Facts aren't racist. Statistics aren't racist and only traitors help invaders. <clears throat> we will no longer be tolerant of those looking to destroy our country and our communities. No, we will meet you and we will defeat you at every opportunity and by any means necessary. Friends, we are in the fight for our lives, but who has the belly to fight? I am recruiting community leaders <laughs> I am recruiting community leaders who are ready to stand up and fight. But what are we fighting for? 99% of daily conversations is outrage, facilitated by WhatsApp groups, echo chambers, and online doom scrolling. Well, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the outrage without action. I'm sick of the state of my country. I'm sick of the fear of the excuses. I'm sick of the cancer that is left-wing policies, communism, Islamism, eating away at the soul of our nation, our faith and our values. <clears throat> I'm sick of the godlessness, of the degeneracy. I'm sick of the establishment profiteering off of our destruction. I'm sick of the Marxists and the perverts 
teaching our kids, indoctrinating them to hate themselves, to hate Britain, to reject Christianity, to cower to Islam, and to bear witness to the normalization of degeneracy and debauchery. I'm sick of the lies. I'm sick of the corruption. I'm sick of the greed. I'm sick of it all. The enemy, ladies and gentlemen, is within. Parasites live among us, feeding off the blood of the British people. We know who these leeches are. Marxists, Islamists, socialists. Between them, they have done their best to rip out the heart of our once great nation. These cockroaches only thrive and survive when there is division and chaos as it allows them to push their propaganda and fear tactics. Left-wing politicians have flooded our country with migrants, millions now since Blair's reign, and in true champagne socialism form, do they house these migrants in the nice middle class areas? No. no, they aren't housed in the nice middle class areas. They are pushed into our communities and forced onto us. And when we complain that our streets are no longer safe, that our children are being groomed, that drugs are being pushed into our communities, we are called racist. We are called far right by those living in gated communities. How many illegal invaders do they house? None. How many do they house? None. None. We all know the answer. It is zero. We are being replaced. They bring their culture, their religion, their values, their entire families. And now we see the experiment of multiculturalism and mass uncontrolled immigration has led to the destruction of our economy as well as our culture. As these people do not contribute, they leech off of our hard work, off of the back of our countries that our ancestors built. Migrants who cheat the system, do not work, or who refuse to assimilate must go. We will not suffer in silence any longer. They can try and tear down our history, but as long as we have breath in our bodies, Britain lives on. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to pick a side. UKIP will be too right wing for some. You are either with us or against us. I say we fight back. I say we take our country back. Those who have had enough of having our country, our values, our history, our way of life dragged through the mud, I call upon you to stand with me and join us in the new right. The battle has been lost, but victory in war will be ours. Let us purge our great nation of communist parasites, of the Islamists, of the migrants who are here to colonize, and of those who refuse to assimilate. Yeah. Let us talk solutions. Let us talk about the patriotic pound. Where do you spend your money? How do you spend your money? Do you set boundaries with those who refuse to assimilate? No more Deliveroo, no more takeaways, yeah. no more spending money with the enemy and with those yeah. And with those who laugh behind our backs, knowing that they are here to colonize us. It is clear now from our grassroots to our elderly, the vast majority of people endorse our policies. The problem is they have never had a political voice brave enough to say what everyone is thinking. Well, today, fear no longer controls us. We control fear. Friends, we are living in a nightmare. The establishment is filled with liars, deceivers, perverts, deviants and paedophiles. They care more about shagging each other than they do about our country. So I say it is time, time friends, for us to take back control. It is time to wake up to the realities of what it is going to take to make our families and those who shed blood to once again be proud of us. Ladies and gentlemen, the new right rises 
and as God is my witness, we will take our country back. And when we do, it will be for his glory. In five years time, we vote our way out of this. Thank you.